It's like, how many extra frames per second do you really need? You know, I mean, it, it, it's sort of, what are you doing it for? If you're a professional gamer, maybe, I don't know. But there is this sort of, you know, how many frames is 200 quid worth? But it's not just the 200 quid, it, it's like frames. It's like ease of installation, running it, drivers. Now, I know they've sort of covered this to death on Windows because obviously everybody's looking at it as a way away from AMD and NVIDIA's costing. But, you know, it's not really been reviewed again on Linux. I haven't seen anything. I don't think anybody's come back on it. So whilst I'm doing this on Amarchi, I thought, you know, as I mentioned, I'll do the... Um, I thought we'd build it into the gaming package. So if you have a B580 and you install the gaming package thing I've done, then, you know, you can use it. But it was an interesting. It's an interesting exercise. It's good to have it to test. But, I mean, the technological differences between the cards aren't hugely different, if you think about it. I mean, I've got really good AV1. You've got really good encoding on the G on the art cards. You've got as good encoding on uh, AMD, sort of, and I don't know which one's better. I've never done, I may do a benchmark between which one can encode quicker between uh, the NVEG on our 5060, um, AMD's AMF, isn't it? AMF framework, but that's on Windows. I don't think you get that on, on Linux. And then you've got um, QuickSync on the um, archive. So what we're going to do with this is I've got the new uh, version of Amarchi 3.2. I've installed it. And in fact, we're recording this on the art card um, and it was quite an interesting exercise because when you when I installed it there's like nothing 